Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today we ask, is God an onion? Now, before you get offended by today's strange opening, know the reason I asked that is because it was a headline that a security researcher forcibly posted on the Vatican's webpage. Basically, an article claiming that Pope Francis said that the Lord is an onion. Now, what really happened is this Belgian security researcher found a cross-site scripting vulnerability in the Vatican webpage, the new Vatican web application, basically. According to the Belgian researcher, he actually informed the web administrator of the Vatican's webpage privately and waited an extended period of time for some sort of response. He even had a receipt proving that the administrator had read his email. But over time, they ignored it. So to prove the vulnerability existed and to kind of shame the Vatican into posting this fake news, he leveraged this stored cross-site scripting vulnerability to post this fake article on their main page. Now, a little quick background. I won't go into all the detail of how a web application flaw like a cross-site scripting vulnerability works, but there's essentially two types of cross-site scripting flaws. One is a reflected flaw. That's when you find a flaw on a website that requires you to send a link to somebody, and when they click that link, the cross-site scripting flaw only affects the visitor of a particular web page, and only that one time when they click the link. On the flip side, there's more dangerous cross-site scripting flaws called a stored cross-site scripting flaw. And this is when someone can actually take advantage of a flaw that puts code in the database of the website that really exists there forever until the web administrator removes it. This one was the latter, a stored cross-site scripting vulnerability. Now, by the way, I'm normally against irresponsible disclosure of vulnerabilities, and that's when some researcher discloses a vulnerability without telling an organization or vendor and giving them time to patch. However, in this case, it sounds like the Belgian researcher did try to privately disclose this, and he didn't actually leverage this vulnerability to sort of shame the Vatican until he got no response at all to his actual reports. So whether or not you like this type of full disclosure, this one is a little more justified than the average. Another interesting concept, by the way, is apparently Pope Francis has recently said fake news is the work of the devil. So by actually using fake news on the Vatican's website, it really was a good way for the researcher to show how dangerous these sorts of vulnerabilities can be. A lot of people think that cross-site scripting flaws are really just old, uh, unimportant vulnerabilities that shouldn't exist anymore. But obviously this proves that they still do and attackers can still leverage them. So what are the practical tips? Well, web application flaws are a little more complex. Long story short, it really depends on your web developers creating secure code for any custom apps you have on your web application. Now, there are types of protection that can help. For instance, even WatchGuard's IPS can help to some extent. We do have many signatures that detect cross-site scripting vulnerabilities. However, when you have custom web applications, signatures can't help with those type of things. And really, my recommendation is to get your web developers to visit OWASP.org, Open Web Application Security Project, because it offers a lot of tips on how to securely code your web application. Anyways, interesting news. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.